Welcome to Kioware University, where we show you the ins and outs of using Kioware to its fullest potential. Today, we'll be covering the latest release of Kioware for Windows version 8.35, which includes a variety of existing features that have been improved upon and some new features that have been added as well. To begin, let's take a look at Out of Service Mode. Kioware can be sent into Out of Service Mode via JavaScript, Exit Action, or Server Command. Server Command requires Kioware Full and Kioware Server or Kio Cloud. In this example, we will configure a new exit action. First, navigate to the General tab and select Add Exit Passcode. Set the exit action to toggle out of service mode and configure a passcode that you will remember. Now, launch the main app, perform the exit protocol, and enter the passcode. Kioware is now in out-of-service mode. Note that the out-of-service mode screen is simply a local HTML page and can be customized to your liking. To revert, simply perform the exit protocol again and enter the same passcode. Kioware is no longer in out-of-service mode. Changes have been made to auto-start applications as well. Users now have the ability to specify that the app should run with system-slash-admin privileges. Users can also specify that the app should run and complete prior to Kioware startup. To view and configure these settings, simply configure an auto-start application and edit it. To enable system slash admin privileges, check the box labeled Run as System. To enable startup prior to the main browser application, check Run before browser. Startup behavior of the main browser application has been improved upon as well. Select the Attract slash Inactivity tab. Users can now set Kioware to start in Attract mode rather than loading the Start page URL. Simply check the box labeled Start Inactive. New features and improvements have been added to the Kiosk Management tab. Note that Kiosk Management features require Kioware Full and Kioware Server or Kio Cloud. New server commands have been added, including Out of Service Mode and Take Screenshot. In this example, we will demonstrate the Take Screenshot command. To begin, be sure that your Kioware client is communicating successfully with Kioware Server or Kio Cloud and that Enable Server commands has been checked in the Configuration tool. Now, we will open our Kioware server instance and select Utilities, followed by Server Commands. Select New Server Command. You can select the kiosk or group of kiosks you would like to send the server command to via this menu. In the Type dropdown, select Take Screenshot. Configure when you would like your command to be sent as well as if and when you would like it to expire. Select Add to Queue. Once the command log has been executed, you can access the screenshots under Reports. Simply run a screenshot log report for the kiosk or group of kiosks in question. A monitored device to track the number of pages printed and send that information to Kioware Server has been added as well. Select the Devices tab. Select Add Monitored Device. Select Print Job Monitor as well as the printer you would like to monitor. A new monitored device will now appear on the kiosk dashboard on Kioware Server or Kio Cloud. Finally, we have added a setting which allows users to specify invalid sessions based on usage and set periods during which stats are not uploaded. Select the Kiosk Management tab. Under Statistics Logging, note the minimum pages for valid session setting. In this example, users must access at least two unique pages to upload the session data to Kioware Server or Kio Cloud. Now, under Quiet Times, select Add New. 
In this example, we will configure quiet hours to start at 8 p.m. and last for 12 hours every day. During this time, no session data will be uploaded, even valid sessions of two pages or more. In addition to these outlined features, bug fixes and back-end improvements have been included as well. For additional questions and assistance, please reach out to us at support at KioWare.com. Thank you for watching KioWare University, where we show you the ins and outs of using KioWare to its fullest potential.